Well, Liam Davis, you've been saying all week what you were going to do. What did you just do? Uh, I backed everything I said was up. Felt, felt very strong tonight. And um, I knew, like I said, this would be my best performance, like I called out before. I didn't just talk smack, do you know what I mean? I generally believe that. Cunningham's a good guy. And uh, a lot was said. I just want to show my respect. I respect anyone that gets in the ring, but... I think tonight's proven I am number one super bantamweight in Britain and Europe without no question. Well, you have the WBO international ball will added. You can see it there on your shoulder. You've got the British, you've got the European, WBC international as well. It's a good time to be Liam Davis. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's good, but it's not enough. Do you know what I mean? I want to keep, I want more. This ain't, this ain't enough for me, do you know what I mean? And that's generally honest. I'm not saying chuck me in now with the best, but... You're going to see more and better from me. I'm going to uh, have a nice week off in the caravan. And uh, I'm going to be back in the gym. I live for this, you know what I mean? I, f I feel like I was born, bred and uh, built for these moments. And like I say, I'm just going to keep getting better and better. It's my third headline on Telford in my hometown. Couldn't, couldn't ask for a better crowd behind me. Very grateful for the people that are behind me. And uh, I feel like I delivered properly tonight for them. I think you did as well. I think the Telford International Centre actually needs a new roof because it came off when you came out tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want now. It's, uh, it's good for me. gives me the fire in the belly. And um, like I said, I, I was in the changing room before. Like I said, my uncle passed away. I was with my other uncle. We was talking and uh, yeah, I was just m real hungry to deliver without being too, too eager for it. And uh, I think... I've come through and done it in devastating fashion, which I said I believed I would. I did I think it would be that early? Probably not. But look, um, you can see I'm very strong filling into this weight. And uh, I, I feel like my power shown tonight, which has always been there. How did it feel in there tonight? Because it, it felt like maybe it started a tad cagey, but then you started catching him. How, how did it feel in there from your side? Yeah, do you know what it is? Like I said, your man had 40 fights, so I didn't want to rush and be inexperienced. I'm not inexperienced, but I didn't want to be too eager and uh, give daft shots away. So um, I took my time, and once I started landing, like I said, it, it uh, finished pretty quick, but I knew I caught him hard, and he was trying to hold on to me, and I was working on finding the space, and uh, I think I found it perfectly tonight to land the last couple that uh, made the ref step in, which... I feel like it was a good decision for sure. Where does Liam Davis go next? To my caravan. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I see Dennis McCann's here. Uh, I go to London, watch that fight. No one's giving me the Arry. I got the Arry bows here. And uh, he can't have them, so I might have a few myself. He'll have to fight you for him. That's it. He can come fight. He's got, he's got Baluta first. And let's bring Telford, uh, Dennis to Telford or wherever, man. Let's make it happen. Like... He's the next big thing, they say. I feel like I've proved I'm the best. So uh, if he wants to say he's the best, he's got to come see me. It's that simple, isn't it? Final one. Tomorrow is 12 years since your granddad passed away. You normally always take the belts there. Special day tomorrow. Yeah, see, that was in my mind. And um, I told my cornerman to remind me later on down the stretch uh, what tomorrow day is. And uh, yeah, 12 years since the passing 12 year anniversary so I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning and uh, honestly nothing was going to stop me going there I wouldn't go in there empty handed and uh, I didn't talk too much about it in the lead up but it was always in my mind I mentioned it once to you I think and um, I said to my dad and my team I promise there's no nothing no one can do no man with two arms two legs is uh, going to make me break that promise another promise I've kept so uh yeah, plenty more, but I've took all the bouts by a world title now, and like I said, I just want to do that. Well, I know what you'd say, like, you've got to get it, jockey, and uh, that's what I'm going to keep keep more moving towards. Liam, a special night, a special performance. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Big up Telford, Queensbury. George promised that we'll be back in October, so uh, I like a man that keeps to his promises, and um, yeah, you'll see me very soon. We'll see you soon. Cheers, Thank mate. You. Well done.